हेलो एवरीवन यूसेफ हेलो यूसेफ सनिया हेलो 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 टू यू टू पीपल नेम यूसेफ अबू दी अबू दी हेलो 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 जियाद हेलो माय फ्रेंड्स कॉल मी सिगल अस्सलाम वालेकुम यस एक्सीलेंट You said adjust your camera so that I can see you. Hello Maya. 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 Hello Maya. Yes, you said thank you. You said Ahmad. Tamim Abdul Malik. Perfect. Perfect. Guys, I would like you to use your name because uh, we're giving you grades for being here today. So use your name. And if you can write your class as well, this will be amazing. Kabli, hello, Kabli. Okay, I'm gonna name myself. Have a, Have a nice day. Tamim. Hi, Tamim. I'm gonna say my name yeah. now. This is Ahmed Ali. Yeah, yeah, because. I, I I couldn't make it because uh, in settings I didn't access microphone and didn't access camera. You say first your voice. I have something wrong with my speakers. Alaikum. You can use that would be amazing. Uh, guys, stop using this. Stop using this. Malik. Hey, somebody is called this Muhammad Ali. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My Yes, my friend. Um, how are you doing? Hello, Ahmed. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Hello, everyone. We miss you so much, and we hope the uh, congratulations on your success. Your best to the next. Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Playing Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik. Yeah. Oh my gosh, everyone is here. Waiting for two more minutes so that people can join us. Then we start. We have a busy day today. We have two many things to do. Yes. Thank you, Yusuf. Use your back. Mister. Mister Hassan. Mister Hassan. Mister Hassan. Like four people are calling my name, so if you would like to say Mr. something, just say it. Mister, I am not doing the sugar so cube. So I only have so much, yeah. I'm broken sugar. Yes, thank you. Mr. Hassan, aren't we go going to do the science? Yes, we have today. Yes, come on. Aren't so, we doing someone, it? Come on. Someone yes, tried to do it. I don't know why you're wasting the time. I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> we don't have sugar cubes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sugar. Bye. You want it is okay. Uh, try to read your voice. Hey. Abdurahab. Oh. Abdurahab, it's me. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, we want to do my party. I've team. said hi to your friend. It's time, it's time for you to be muted so that we can start our journey today. I said that we have uh, we have somehow a long day. And um, I would like you to excuse me if I tried to call your name and I couldn't unmute you because I have something wrong here with the with the pad of the laptop. Let's go. Let's see what do we have today. We have, a, as I said, a busy day.
Uh, okay. Abdulwahab joined the game. Here. Let's see what do we have today. If you're using your course book, these are the pages that we're uh, studying. 289, Abdul Wahab, pay attention to what you're doing. So let's go. I have the first two words. I would like you to compare them together and tell me whether they are related or they are different or they are far away from each other. Are they the same? Look at these two words. Here, the first word is weather, and the second is weathering. I'm looking at the chat, so if you're writing something, let me read it. Are they related to each other, weather and weathering? Close, yes. Some so, uh, they, There is an answer that both are close to each other. So, okay, let's see this. This is what we'll find out later on. Someone, someone else said, no, they are different. And another said that they are close. So this is what we'll find out about when we start studying. We'll, we, we will know whether they are the same thing or they are different. So here, here, uh, what's that thing on the left? The, the picture on the left, this one, if you can see my mouse. What's this? Let me read your chat. Here, this is, these are huge rocks. Guys, I have no time for you to decline your trying to control my screen. So, I have some huge rocks here. You can type this in the chat, and I'll check the chat later on. So, I have huge rocks here. And I have one rock that is split into, into two halves. Can you answer my question, how does this happen? Yes, let's check the chat, see what, what ideas do you have. Yes, the, these are very huge rocks, thank you, Faris. Uh, someone said erosion, the sun, yes, we have some answers. What else? Yes, erosion. So, so many, or some people wrote that there is something called erosion that caused these, this huge rock to be split into two. This is science. Okay, now let's see what is the reason behind this. Here, I have some huge rocks and some smaller ones. Where do you think these smaller ones come from? Some people say that something called uh, weathering. Uh, someone else described the, the rocks to be in halves. So, what do you know about rocks? Could you please Type me some of the qualities of rocks. What do you know? Describe, describe rocks, please. I'm reading your chat. Yes. Describe these rocks. Perfect, perfect. They are rigid. They are hard. What else? What else? Are they easily broken? Can you get a rock? Can you get a rock and you split it into half with your hands? Perfect. This you said no. MashaAllah Yazan. Abdullah, Abdul Wahab, Yusuf Ahmed Ali. Yes. Uh, Abdul Malik is reminding you that these are matter. Yes, true. Okay. So we can we can describe them to be hard and mashallah Samir here said solid. Yes. Strong manayf, yes, so they are hard, solid. And you can also describe them in color, saying they're gray. So perfect, perfect, Samir. So these are the ideas concerning rocks from our point of views. Heavy, Muhammad Al Arshad, perfect. Sami, solid. Yes, smooth, Abdul Aziz, Abdul Aziz, perfect. So these are our ideas about our ideas about rocks. Let's see 
What do you think could break them? This is the, the question that we mentioned earlier. And some of you said that uh, weathering, erosion, or some other stuff. Let's see what do we have in science now. A hammer, Abdul Wahab, yes, you can use a hammer and break them. I'd like you to describe this picture, please. Describe it. What can you see here in front of your eyes? What can you see? Rocks, yes. Water, perfect, perfect. So we see some rocks, different sizes, some big ones, smaller ones, and we see water as well. Perfect. Sky, Ahmad Rada is trying to describe to me, I think. Yes, he, Ahmad Rada in camera say that the, you have sky, you have the sky here. Okay, so. Now, we're going to find out how can we break down these rocks. It's not, of course, it's not we, but we can. How can we do this? Sunrise, thanks, Sultan. Yes. So here, what other elements that you can see and uh, what can we use to break the rocks down? Look at this. So here, as you mentioned, we see that water can break down rocks. And something that uh, nobody mentioned, that there is air as well. Of course, because we can see it, and I said, describe the picture and tell us what you can see. There is air here. And we studied before. Do you remember when we studied gases? And we said that we can see them, but we feel them. So what else can affect trucks? What else can break them down? Look at the picture. We have some more ideas that we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. So can you see this big rock? We have just mentioned that this book, this great truck can be broken down into smaller pieces of ice. Uh, I don't know what the, I think Faris or someone, he wrote some symbols. I told you that we revise this chat, so please, please be focus on what we're doing. So you can see this huge rock. I'd like to to know what will happen to it if it's exposed to air and water. These are the two elements that we studied today and said that they, they can break down rocks. Ahmad Rada, I can type. Because if I, if I move from the, the screen to the camera, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take too much of your time. So please type. So here now I see that the big rock is going, is going, and instead I have some smaller rocks. So, yes, thank you, Abdul Wahab. No, don't, don't type the, the, the code of the game now. We're not going to start the game now. So some people here, some of your friends said that this is caused by weathering. We, haven't, we, have, we don't have a clue to what is weathering, but may, maybe some people prepared the lesson in advance beforehand. And that's why they are answering. There is something called weathering. We will know right now what will happen to this weathering. Now, I would like you to compare between the huge rock that we saw a min like a minute ago and these small pieces of rocks. Can or do you think that the big rock moves? Have you ever seen a big rock crawling on the seashore? Oh, some people say no here, no. So what about these smaller rocks, smaller pieces of rocks? Yes, they are easily moved. Who moved it? What moved it? What moves this? Yes, thank you so much. You respond. Perfect. Air. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I have uh, more than one answer here saying air moves these smaller pieces of rocks. Perfect. This is great. So I have now two things that affect rocks. I have one thing that breaks the rock down and another thing that moves it from its place. Let's see if they, if they can move or not. Yes, some, some go out far away, some moves a little bit, others change their position. Yes, this is caused by air as you have just said. So they leave their place and go to other places. So what is the effect of this? What is the effect of this? I have some rocks here and they move to another place. So what will happen? Who's, 
Who can think about what will happen when rocks move from one place to another? I wish I could hear you, but as I said, we're too many here. Ziad, Ziad said that there is there's something called regrouping. Yes, but it's not regrouping. Try to find another suitable word. It's not regrouping. It's something similar. I saw something moving. Yes, Ferris. They they move. Uh, Ferris is telling you that some somehow he saw some big rocks moving. Yes, maybe by water or strong air and wind. So I guess that what Ziad in his answer said, he said regrouping, he meant to say reshaping. So the shape of the place will change because the rocks will move from one place to another. Let's check if this is correct. So now some people of you who prepared the lesson before said something called weathering. Let's discover, let's find out what is weathering. So here, weathering happens when wind or water break down the rocks into smaller pieces. So what is weathering? It's when wind and water break down the big rocks into smaller pieces. This is weathering. And this is the first cause, the first reason why rocks broke down. So, we saw the big rock. Do you remember what happens to the big rock when weathering affected it? Can you type for me, please? Muhammad al-Arshid is saying the air can push the rock, the block or the rock, but the small parts are easily because the block is very heavy, but sometimes the block moves and the small rocks are not heavy. Yes, sometimes. And it, it depends on the strong of the wind. If the wind is extremely strong, it can move things. Uh, Sammy, you're joking. You're joking, Sammy, and this is not funny at all. And I'm sorry, you'll be, you'll be, you'll, you'll be upset about that. Okay, thank you, Sammy. Thank you. So, here, I would like someone to answer my question. Uh, someone said Hisham Arab said that it becomes smaller. Yes, this is the closest answer, guys. I'm telling you. Please don't raise your hand. If you have something, you can type it. Because uh, we, we can switch between the screen and the cameras. We don't have time to do so. And I'm not going to unmute you because this will take too much time. So here, as my friend said, Hisham, as Hisham said, that the huge rocks became smaller. Yusuf Ahmad Ali said smaller pieces. And this is because of weathering. Okay. So weathering is step one. Uh, can you ta can you answer me, please? What causes weathering? We have just mentioned this. I'm reading everything on the chat. Someone said that it uh, breaks and they scattered around somewhere else. Perfect, perfect, Ziad. Yes, true. What are the wind, Hisham, Arab? Perfect. I'm waiting for more people to write. Tamim, what, what have you written? Like rain. Yes, rain is kind of water. Perfect. Wind and water, Yusuf Zamzami. Thank you so much. I know that all of you can answer this and sometimes people can try, can type, yes. So here, wind and water, these are the two reasons for weathering. So weathering is step one. Now we're in step two, what is erosion? What is erosion? Erosion is the second part, the second phase, the second level. After weathering and breaking down of uh, huge rocks, we face erosion, which means that the wind comes and takes the smaller pieces away. And this, as we said before, may change the shape of the place. It has its effect. So now I would like you to complete my, my sentence. Erosion happens when wind and moving water I have uh, someone said carry rocks or soil far away. Yes. Hit. Another answer. Perfect. What else? I'm waiting for you to answer. Guys, if you can type quickly like your friends, you can say this to your parents while they are sitting around. So you, you can answer. And you're still, you're still involved in the, in the process. So you answer it to yourself. 
it's fine. And when we give our answers, you check whether you're correct or you need to adjust your sentence. So here, as you said, guys, it carried the rock or soil away. What happens when they hit, wind and water hit the rocks and affect them, they carry the rocks or soil away. Perfect. Now, I would like you to, to say whether this is true or false. When wind or moving water carries rocks or uh, soil away, this is what we call erosion. So what is erosion? It's when wind or moving water carry, carry rocks or soil away. It's carry, not carries, I'm sorry. Or carries, yes, because water and wind carries. Here, what can you see here in the first picture? What is this? This is the sea, the ocean, the river, the earth, earth, perfect. So some people started answering, they call this, this is the earth, perfect. So how many layers are there? How many layers? Do you remember? We started this like two or three weeks ago. How many layers? Four, five, three, perfect, three, five. I have more than one answer, let's check that. These are the layers of the earth. So you have the crust and mantle and core. So we have three here, and the core is external and internal. Uh, guys, uh, those who are writing more than one time, please, it's only one time. We don't want to take you, I don't want to spend your time or waste your time away. So I have three. On which one do we live, guys? Here. Where do we live here? Are we, do we live on the mantle, on the core? On the crust, perfect. Some people, some people answer crust, perfect. That's true. Yes, we live on the crust. This is where we live, perfect, guys. Now, uh, the the earth is crust is made up of different rocks. We we don't have one only one kind of rocks everywhere. We have different kinds. We have different kinds. Allah has created the whole universe. Uh, in different shapes and sizes and colors so that we know that no one can do this apart from Allah. So do you think that, I would like you to tell me whether you agree or you disagree with this. The crust is changing all the time or it's the same? So true or false, is it changing? If you think this is true, then it's changing. If you think this is false, then it doesn't change. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Some people say this is true and some others say no. But I, 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 I agree that they, they do change. Yes, they change. So the change to the earth can happen sometimes slowly, some other times fast. So earth or crust change slowly. Sometimes, some other times they change quickly. They change fast. According to... The factors, according to the reasons, how do they change? How many reasons did we say that they change the, uh, the, the crust? We have mentioned how many? How many? I'm waiting for your answer. Two, perfect, perfect. We have more, Abdullah, yes, we have three, we have four. But today we only talked about two. I have too many clever students that are answering my question. I have two. Do you remember what are they quickly? Who's the first one to type? Or to say this even uh, for himself or for the family members, what are they? What are they? What are they? What are they? What are, what are they? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Weathering and erosion. Yes, yes. All are perfect questions, uh, answers. So here, this is. Uh, would you like? Can you tell me what's this here in the picture? Which country is this first? It's a country that is that is on the Mediterranean Sea. Which pick? Yes. Oh, it's not Masr, uh, Hisham. It's Egypt. Yes. Perfect. This is the country of Egypt. And I have a name in Ghanam in the class. Okay. So this is in Egypt. And the long red line is for the River Nile. And I have something like a triangle here. What do we call this? The name is here. I'd like you to look at the, 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 the map and tell me what is this triangular thing? What, what do they call it? No, it's not the pyramid. Yes, they call it the, the delta. The delta. Yes, perfect. Some people answered it. 
this is where the river ends and this is as you see it shaped it it shaped it like a triangle and this is by the way very rich soil people in egypt use it for agriculture for farming for planting so do you think that this delta changed or it, it's the same answer this question does this area is this area changing or it's the same i'm waiting for a third change perfect yes of course we said that uh, cross change we said that the shape changed how do they change through weathering and erosion because rocks are moving every now and then so this is the Nile Delta and this is one of the effects of the weathering and erosion uh, idea that we're talking about one example of a small change is the formation of deltas and Delta is where the water ends or where the rivers uh, cast their modern stuff into a place because this is the end of their journey So what a wind can break down rocks into smaller pieces? Here when a moving water can carry away these smaller rocks from to form deltas and they change as we said and, they, and as we agreed before Now do you think that all the change that happens to the crust are slow ones? No, perfect, perfect, perfect. Some, sometimes we have quick changes, fast ones, yes, no. So can you think now and type or say, say to, your, to yourself or to your family members, what other things that can affect that? What other things can affect that? change can make the change can you tell me we have water and wind weathering and erosion yes i need some other stuff perfect sultan sultan said that this is volcanoes earthquakes perfect perfect so these are some of the examples that can cause change do you think the volcanoes and earthquakes cause slow change or quick change tornadoes yes Holidays, some say holidays, this is a very, very remote idea, but it's perfect. People can move the stones from one place to another, yes. Some people say that volcanoes and earthquakes cause a slow change. Some other people say, no, it's, it's quick. Hurricanes, yes, of course. Strong winds, yes, but still it's wind. They cause quick change. So in the previous part of the session, we talked about slow change, which is caused by erosion and weathering from water and wind. Now we'll have, we're going to have a small, or we're going to have a, an idea about how quick changes happen. There are other things that can change at the surface in, that can happen in a few minutes. And this is, by the way, the topic of um, tomorrow's session. We're going to talk about earthquakes and volcanoes. And whenever you uh, hear this, you have to thank Allah for giving us a secure country. Uh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, and this may be forever, inshallah, that our land is protected by Allah from this part, for, from these actions. So we have quick actions here. Earthquakes and volcanoes can change the surface quickly. Yes, they can cause destruction. They can destroy things. This is what we'll have as for tomorrow. Now, how are slow and rapid changes alike, and how they are different? Can you um, can you tell me how is how are they slow and rapid, so, slow and quick? How are they alike and different? They change. This is one idea that is that they are similar in. Yes, so they change because change. And what, how are they different? In which idea they are different? Which part? Ah, some are slow, perfect. Both may cause destruction, maybe. So some are slow, some are slow, and some are fast. Perfect. Mashallah. It's the different amount of time that that makes the difference. Perfect, guys. You're great. How are uh, uh, rocks are broken down? This is we're wrapping up everything that we said by water and wind. What happens? So when water, when when water enters the rocks through the cracks in the rocks they go into the rock 
and they stay for some time and they become frozen. And what happens when they are frozen? They get, they get bigger. They get bigger. And they start trying to move the rock. They start moving the rock. Now I would like you to use the cube of sugar. Do you have the cube of sugar that I asked you about yesterday? Do you have it? Let's check people on the camera. Now I can see more people here. Show me the cube of ice that you have. If you have it, I asked you yesterday to bring it. Show me. Yes, mashallah, Yusuf Ahmed Ali has it. Abdul Malik has it. Yes, Samir. Now use this cube, Sultan. Use this cube, put it in water. Put it in water now, and we're gonna wait for five minutes. Then you show me what happens. Let's check other people who have it. Does anyone else have it? Arshad, do you have it? If you can, if you don't have it at home, this is fine. Don't bother yourself. Abdul Aziz, yes, Abdul Aziz is here. Show me Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz is on the camera now. He's using the cube of ice. It has to be cube, guys. We can't use uh, sugar. We can't use sugar. We have to use a cube. Saleh, yes, Saleh is here today. Hello, Saleh. So I'm checking you now on camera. Perfect, perfect. Yes, Ziad, use it. So we have here, I'm calling you by names, Naif, Ziad, Ammar, Ibrahim, hello, Ibrahim, Abdul Malik, Muhammad Al Jabhan, where is Muhammad? Hisham, Ahmad Rida, Yusuf Ahmad Ali, Sania, and my friend Faisal, Abdul Wahab Kabli, Abdul Aziz, Sultan, Tamim, and Sami, Ammar, hello, Ammar. So some of us have some cubes of ice and they are using them now. We have uh, Tamim, Sultan, Saleh, Abdul Aziz, hello Abdul Aziz, uh, Amir, hello Amir, Yusuf Arab, y Yusuf Salama, hello Yusuf, Abdul Rahman, Zamzami, so Tamim Faris, Khalid, Khalid, yes, okay, Amir, hello Amir. So now you, you put your cube of ice in your glass of water. I would like you to keep your eye on that cube and describe to us what happens to it. Hello, Yusuf Arab, you're sleeping. Hello, I can see you. <laughs> uh, yes, Yusuf, hello, enjoy, enjoy it, enjoy it. MashaAllah, may Allah protect you guys. We love you so much. So, I'd like you to keep your eye on the glass of water and describe to me later on what happens. Don't do anything, just put the cube and wait, this is explains to you how water can affect even something hard. Because they get through the, the cracks and they are frozen inside and they have bigger sizes. That's why they, they push it apart. So you will describe to me what happens. And then comes the erosion part. When it comes and they sweeps this away, move it from its place. Now guys, answer this question. Has anyone here ever been really on a rock cliff? On the top of a small cliff? Have you ever been there? If you have ever been there or even watch it in movies or National Geographic or something, you may find some big rocks and some smaller ones. Can you explain to me how the smaller rocks are there? How, how, are, they, how are they there? Who brought, who brought them there? Yes, in USA, some, someone say they disappear, Saleh, perfect. Air, air moves them, perfect, yes. Or they maybe they are broken down from the big rocks next to them. My, your dad, Abdullah, perfect, perfect. He, uh, ask him to tell you his experience when he went there. Yes, guys, if one of your family members been there, they should ask, they should tell you. So here, uh, if you saw small rocks, we, we told you how the small rocks arrived there. Uh, and we told you, this, they, they may come, they may be broken down from the big rocks and we showed you how. Okay, here, so frozen water and grains of sand can also cause weathering. Uh, and we are we, today we studied how the weathering happen when water enters in the big rocks they are frozen and they push apart the, the rock so it broke down 
and then by erosion we move it from one place to another. So what things can cause weathering? We have water, wind, ice, and sand. Four. Water and sand can go into the rocks and cause them to broke down, to be broken down. Yes. So what happens when you leave objects outside exposed to water and wind? What happens? Yes, they become no longer valid to be used. They are worn. Perfect, guys. So here, now I would like you to look at your uh, ice cube and tell me what did you find? Here. Now, mashallah, we have many people attending here. Show me any, on the cam, show me. I'm just uh, registering your attendance. Show me your ice cube. Is, is, is the cube of ice still there or is it dissolved? Okay, now guys, now, 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 now. I would like you to be ready for the game. We have only one minute for the game, so get ready, please. Get ready for the game. Here, um, uh, now, no, no more writing, no more writing, guys. Yes, here, here, this is the, guys, stop, stop typing. Here's the link to the game. Join me, please. Join. Join me. Join the game, please. Yes, some people started joining. Here, you can see my screen, more people are joining. Hi, we have only one minute to play the game. So hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We have only one minute. I have only five players. Someone, I don't know what, what will you get now? Now are you happy? Guys, time is running. I have only 11 players. Join my game, join my game, join my game. We have Muhammad Al Arshad, hello, Abdul Wahab, Ziyad, Saleh, Yaqub. I'm waiting for more of my friends. Now we're 17. MashaAllah, yeah, now you're quick. You're quicker now. Yeah. I have Yusuf, Ammar, Sultan, Kabli, yes, Jabhan, Ibrahim, Zamzami, Nayef, Sari Samir, Hisham. Where are my other friends? 18 now. We're 18 now. Guys, I have less than a minute. Hurry up. I'm going to leave the game open for you so that you can play. Dead is on top. What comes next? Saleh. Muhammad Al Arshad is trying. Muhammad Al Arshad is, is moving now forward. Yusuf's coming. Yusuf, by the way, Yusuf always comes first. In the previous uh, quizzes. Guys, you may lose me at any minute, so keep playing the game. Keep playing the game and you have your score. You have your score. It was so nice to, to be with you today. Tomorrow, I'm waiting to see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Goodbye now. I will lose you in seconds. But keep go on playing the game. Today we had too much information. Uh, 
Abdul Wahab, send the link again in the chat if you're done. 